Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well and welcome to another episode on Friday and in this episode we're going to talk about driving instructors. I receive many comments on my channel regards to driving instructors. Many they say that I don't have a good driving instructor, they are horrible, they are not patient, they shout, they don't explain, they don't teach me well. These are the comments I receive on my channel. In this episode, let's talk about driving instructors. Let's start the lesson. Okay, so let's talk about driving instructors. Like I said, I receive many comments on my channel regards to driving instructors are horrible. They don't teach me well. They're not patient. They don't come on time. These are the comments I receive on my channel. So I thought I would cover, maybe talk about driving instructors. Now, when I do get a comment, you probably notice that I don't reply those to those comments as much. The reason is because I cannot just judge listening to one side. So when you say that you have a horrible instructor or bad instructor, I haven't heard the other side. I don't know. I couldn't just make a comment or reply to something that I don't know the other side. I normally try to say something which is neutral or I try to ignore those kind of messages. The only thing I can do is to help you through my videos for you to learn to drive and for you to pass your driving test. That's all I could do. That's the best I could do. I couldn't find you a good driving instructor. I couldn't find you or give you an answer which is gonna be good enough for you to find a good driving instructor. Now let's talk about, so say you got a bad instructor, okay? You, for you to learn to drive, you need someone to teach you. It doesn't have to be driving instructor. It could be anyone, as long as they have a driving license over three years and they're over 21. As long as they are over 21 and they've held a driving license for over three years, they could teach you, they could learn, they could help you to learn to drive and for you to pass a driving test. But initially, you do need a driving instructor because they know exactly what you need to learn. They have the knowledge, they're qualified to let you know what you need, how to learn and what it takes for you to become a driver for you to pass a driving test. So say you are looking for a driving instructor and you found one and they're not good. They don't teach you well, they're horrible, they're not patient and all that. So now what? Are you going to just give up? Did you come in to this learning to drive with this condition that if I get a good driving instructor, only then I will learn. And if I don't, I will just give up. Is that the condition? So what are you going to do? You've got a bad driving instructor. You've got a horrible, you've got a horrible driving instructor. And then you write a comment on my channel saying that your instructor is not good. So, so what is your plan? What are you going to do? You're just going to give up? You see, you need the driving license, not your driving instructor. It's you who needs it. It's like having a pain on your stomach or having a headache. If you do, who's going to take the medicine? Your mom, your dad, your partner, your wife, your husband, your relative, your friend. If they take the medicine, is your headache going to go away? Your stomach going to go away? No. You've got the problem. You have to solve it. You have to take the medicine for you to be well. Okay, now you've got a bad driving instructor. Okay, so what? So what? So what do you do? You find another driving instructor who's good. Okay, it's no point writing, no point talking. It's no point complaining. It's no point giving up. Because in the end, it's you who needs the driving license, not the driving instructor. They have a job. If it's not you, you'll be somebody else they'll be teaching. Okay, so it's not about a good or bad driving instructor. You, all you need is an average driving instructor who could help you, who could guide you, who could tell you what is wrong and what is right. And the rest should be done by yourself. It's you who should be looking for the things that you need for you to learn. Okay, why is it that you need such a good driving instructor? Driving instructors are not superman. They're not going to be able to give you everything in your head without you doing the things that you need to do okay if you get a good driving instructor that's good if you don't it's not a problem you shouldn't just be depressed or feel down that i let down life let me down i can't learn no if you got all you need like i said an average driving instructor who tells you what you need to do for you to move the car for you to stop the car how to go left how to go right how to do the parking the rest should be done by yourself when i say by yourself what does that mean 
Don't go to the lesson and just take everything the driving instructor is giving you. The driving instructor is giving you. You need to go to the lesson, take the lesson, come home, do your work. It's like going to university. It's like going to college. When you go to college, what do you do? You go to the class and the lecturer or the teacher tells you to do something. What do you do? You come home and do nothing? You do your homework, right? You make notes in the class. You come home. You go through the notes. You go on Google. You go to library. You read and you learn about the subject. And then you go to the test and you pass. Same with learning to drive. There's no different, okay? Don't expect the driving instructor to give you or make something some kind of magic that they're going to give it to you and you're going to learn. No. If you get a good instructor, it's a bonus. If you don't, no problem. You're the one who needs the license. If I were you, I would do my own homework and learn. So when I say my own homework, what does that mean? All you have to do is get as much information about the lessons that you need to learn. So you need to learn about the car, about the control, about the clutch control if you're learning in a manual car about moving the car, stopping the car, changing gear, how to go left, how to go right, how to change lane, roundabouts, mini roundabouts, big roundabouts, checking the blind spots. These are the things you learn. These are the things you need to learn. All you do, make notes of those subjects and then study about those subjects. Read about those subjects. Go on Google. You have my course where I give you everything you need to learn to drive and for you to pass your driving test, giving you everything you need. It has more than 30 videos on the course, giving you everything a learner needs. You have that. You don't have to take it. I'm saying you have the choice of taking that course. It's only you pay minimum fraction of a lesson for the course. I only charge because I need to run my course on a platform which costs me money to run it. So you pay really nothing for the course, very fraction for the thing that you are getting. You are getting over 30 videos on the course, giving you everything you need. You could take that course or you could take similar course from someone else or you could get everything you need on my channel. The difference with the channel is that it's all randomly. You don't know the system you need to follow for you to become a driver. The course gives you a systematical order so that you know exactly where to start, where to finish. If you are learning and you need help on learning and passing the driving test, don't forget to take the advantage of our online course. The course gives everything a learner needs to learn to drive and to pass the driving test. It has everything a learner needs. I will leave a link on the description for you to have a look. Have a look and see and read. And if you like it, you could always join the course. Giving you everything. So you've got that course, you've got the Google, you've got YouTube. You've got my channel, like I said, and you've got all those things for you to get the information. Nowadays, it's much more easier for you to get the knowledge, for you to gain the knowledge. Once you gain the knowledge, all you need is somebody to tell you what to do. And all you do is go and put that into practice. Many on my channel, I see what they do is they have few lessons with the driving instructor. Okay, maybe 10, 15, you know, and then the rest, they have it with their family members. All they do is they follow my channel, they follow my course, so they get the information from there and then they go with the family members and they just put that into practice. Okay, remember, you are allowed to go with your friends and family as long as they are following the legal whatever they need to do. So they, the car needs to be insured, MOT'd, taxed. Also, the person sitting next to you needs to be over 21 and also held a driving license for over three years. As long as they have all that, they are allowed to take you out and teach you. So you could do that. So what I'm saying is don't expect for you to find a good driving instructor. If you do, it's a bonus. If you don't, don't give up. Because in the end, it's you who needs the driving license. It's not them. It is your life. You're going to get the freedom when you get the license, not them. They have a license. If they don't teach you, they're just going to go and teach somebody else. No problem. That's their job. And I wouldn't take it personally, okay? Don't take it personally because your personality is always going to be different from somebody else, okay? So you've got a driving instructor whose personality you clash with. You don't get along. Okay, no problem. You just move. There's nothing personal. You just move to the next until you find a good driving instructor. And if you don't find a driving instructor, maybe in your town, very small town, you don't get it. You don't have a good driving instructor. No problem. Like I said, it's your headache. It's your thing you need. The license is yours. 
you need to find a way as long as you get an average driving instructor that's fine do the rest by yourself for you to get a license okay so whatever you need in this case we are talking about learning to drive and for you to pass the driving test we are talking about getting a license for you to drive but in anything in life if there's something you need to learn something new you need to learn in life don't expect somebody else to give it to you don't expect magic to happen you need to do your own work put the work in put the effort in and learn if you really need it if you think you really need this driving license if you think that it's going to help you in your life it's going to open doors for you it's going to give you different opportunities in jobs if you get the license then it is you who should be putting the work in putting the effort in if I were you, I wouldn't complain if I get a bad instructor, no problem. Just move to next. If no, find another way, easy way, or another way, which way you could achieve, you could get the license, which I've given you an idea of how to get it. Main thing, and the main point I'm trying to cover in this video is that driving license is you who needs it, not the driving instructor, okay? If you get a driving instructor, a good one, it's a bonus. If you don't, don't worry. You only need an average driving instructor. The rest should be done by yourself. Okay, like I said, you have my channel, you have my course, you have Google, you have YouTube, you have many other channels where it teaches you how to learn to drive and for you to pass. All you have to do is follow, watch them, make notes, learn, go and put them into practice. And that's the best advice I will give you if you got a bad driving instructor, okay? It's no point, I mean, you could complain all your life you could write comments on my channel and other channel how bad your instructors are. They're not going to change if they are bad. And it is not your job to change them. If they are no good, that's no good. No problem. You just move on to the next. And like I said, in your town, you don't have a good driving instructor because it's a small town. No problem. An average instructor will do the job as long as you are doing your own work, as long as you are putting your own effort for you to learn to drive. It is your headache, remember? You need to take the medicine. It's, no one's going to take the medicine and your headache is going to just go away. It's your headache. You must look for the medicine for you to get rid of the headache. Okay? Remember at the end of the journey, when you do pass your driving test, imagine what the license is going to give you. Just because you got a bad driving instructor, you're just going to give up. Many right comments, like I said, I'm, I, I'm giving up or I'm going to give up or I don't know what to do. I've got a bad instructor. They're no good. They're horrible. I'm going to give up. Well, if you give up, you're the one who lost. It's not, nobody else loses anything. You lost everything. Okay. So that's my advice to you. And I hope this video helps. And just to remind you, every Friday, you will get these kind of episodes coming with different topics. Just talk about different topics, how to help you learn to drive and to pass your driving test. So similar to these topics, or these episodes you will find on every friday at six o'clock uk time and we also upload a new video on learning to drive and pass the driving test on every tuesday at six o'clock so you've got two videos every week that you could wait to watch on my channel okay i hope this video helps like i said if you need extra help on learning to drive and, and to pass the driving test don't forget to take the advantage of our online course which gives everything a learner needs. The course has everything a learner needs for you to learn to drive and for you to pass your driving test. It has more than 30 videos on the course. I will leave a link on the description for you to have a look. Have a look and see and read. If you like it, you could always join the course. And just to remind you that these kind of episodes and different topics to help you to learn to drive, you will get on every Friday at six o'clock UK time. And also there will be another video uploaded on every Tuesday at six o'clock UK time. So you are getting two videos every week on this channel to help you learn to drive and for you to pass the driving test. Similar to these kind of episodes with different topics to help you, you'll get it on every Friday at six o'clock UK time. And then another video to help you to learn to drive on every Tuesday at 6 o'clock UK time. So you've got two days, both at 6 o'clock UK time, to help you learn to drive and for you to pass the driving test. Hope this video helps. Please do give a thumbs up if you like the video. Please do make a comment what you think of the video. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so don't miss any of my future videos. And hope to see you again on the next video. Bye for now.